So the question was at nine, I decided to do something, um, but uh, life gets in the way of things that you dream about when you're young. So how do you not let life get in the way of the things you're dreaming of? I think, and, and it's not just for the, for the younger ones here, but I think that the greatest gift that you can give yourself, no matter what age you are in this room, self-included, is a personal definition of where you're going to be a certain amount of time from now if everything goes perfectly. And, you know, say to yourself, if everything went perfectly in my life for the next five years, what would I be doing five years from now? And I don't mean like winning the lottery or, you know, whatever. I mean, if, if I work towards something and everything goes just right, where will I be five years or ten years or whatever? whatever. In my case, when I was nine years old, I said, when I'm 45, I want to walk on the moon. That was my definition of, per I don't know why I chose 45. It just seemed indescribably old. And <laughs> I w but I want to walk on the moon when I'm 45. But of course, when you're little or even when you're university age, the standard answer, of course, is, well, I don't really know what I want to do. Well, if you don't know where you're headed, then how do you know what to do next? Like, how how do you choose what you're going to do this weekend if you don't know where you want to be? And so I think a big gift you can give yourself is, uh, is to, when you go into a bookstore, where, what part of the bookstore do you walk to? You probably don't go to every single section of a bookstore equally. Or if you go into the library here, you probably don't go to every single section of the library. There's probably two or three parts of the bookstore that always draw you, and you, you've got to go read about that stuff. Or if you're flipping through a magazine or flipping through channels on the TV or listening to conversation, there are certain things that really fundamentally interest you. So listen to yourself and, and then say, take, take five minutes within yourself and go, Huh, if those are the things that actually interest me, then if my life went perfectly, what would I be doing? And I don't know, it, it's totally a personal decision. Let's say the thing that really interests you is, I don't know, samurai. That samurai, that fascinates me. I don't know why. The swords, the kimono, the, the top knot, the history of it, the religion of it, the culture of it. I'm fascinated. I want to be, five years from now, I want to be the world's expert on samurai. Doesn't matter, but I'll just say samurai for now. Okay. Hmm. I never realized that about myself before, but that's really interesting to me. So f if... I, five years from now, I want to be whatever. The, the, I want to have written a book about it. Or I want to be the professor on it. What should I do this weekend? Well, huh, why don't I learn 30 words of Japanese? Or study the difference between modern Japanese and ancient Japanese? Or um, study metallurgy and figure out how they used to make their swords given the type of kilns that they had back in that era? Or understand why they developed clothing they did? or how that helped or hindered, or understand the characteristics of babu, a bamboo as a, as a defensive weapon, or whatever, it doesn't matter. But by Sunday night, you can uh, have learned and, and therefore changed yourself into someone who is slightly different. And you will be slightly closer to being the world's leading expert on samurai. You're not the world's leading, you're not a professor, but you're not the person you were on Friday afternoon. And if you just string together a whole lifetime of what, deciding what you're going to do next, you probably never will become the world's leading expert on the samurai. But if you drag your life in the direction that you're dreaming of, you will enjoy it more. You'll find satisfaction in it. You can celebrate it on a regular basis. And I never did walk on the moon. I still haven't. So I'm a failure by my own particular definition. But by pursuing that process, it has led me to become a scuba diver. It led me to become a glider pilot as a teenager, and then a powered pilot, and then I joined the Air Force and became a fighter pilot and intercepted Soviet bombers when they were practicing cruise missile launches in North America. It led me to go to university, three different universities. It led me to be an engineer and then to be a test pilot. And I loved every single one of those phases of life. They were fascinating to me, and I celebrated them all. And 
I even got to be selected as an astronaut and fly in space three times, and it led me to commanding a spaceship, all in pursuit of, of something that was in my heart, with life continuously getting in the way all the time. It was not any sort of vector, straight line. It was just nothing but a sequence of dead ends. But I just kept saying, what should I do next? And if things go perfectly, where do I want to be? And I, I think it's worth giving yourself that gift. Take the time. It's totally up to you. Because if you say, nah, I just want to have a free weekend, that will also define who you're going to be on Sunday night. And you will change slightly. It's, com it's totally a personal decision. And the succession of Sunday nights, that is your life. It's, it's not the grandiose goal you set for yourself. It's the little decisions that actually define your life. Thank you.